G'day. If you're running Windows 11, you very well may have encountered Outlook brackets new. And when you've gone to open Windows Mail, this has now hijacked what you've got. What I've come across is a script that we can run that will basically remove it, revert it, and then put a file on the computer to block this from hopefully coming back. I'm not sure if that's permanently, or at least for now until Microsoft does the next major update. Jumping over to the main PC here, we are on GitHub, and we have this program called Outlook Remover. So as I said, we've got to download the file on here, which we should be able to go to Get Code and Download as a Zip. So click Get Code, Download as a Zip, Extract it, so run it, and then after that we want to run the batch script as admin, and what it's going to do What's it do? Check CPU architecture, copies the correct Apple X manifest to the users folder, enables developer mode to sideload apps via registry, which is what we want to do, uninstalls the new Outlook if present, and installs the fake one. So that there, in turn, should get in its way. So from here, we have settings apps, click uninstall. So that we don't want to do, but we're going to leave the one that's already here. So let's go over to the machine and run the batch script. Over here, we have, after extracting the document, we should be able to go and right click on this outlook.bat file, go run as admin, we want to go yes, and here we go, hopefully this goes well for you, hopefully it goes well for me. Just disappeared from down the bottom here. Now, if we potentially restart the computer, but I'm just going to load up mail. Here, mail, there's mail come back, there's mail. Now, I'm just going to put the camera down for a second, being this is a customer's laptop. And if it's loaded up fine, I will hold it back up. Uh, it just crashed on me. Crashed on me again. I'm just going to restart the computer. It will figure itself out then from there, and then I'll rerun the batch script after if it doesn't work. Now I have restarted the computer once more, and I'm going to rerun the batch script. We do have the try the new window uh, Outlook, which will not, will not be ticking. Um, I'm going to run the batch script one more time. Right now, it was crashing as soon as I opened Windows Mail before, but I did restart the computer, connect it up to Wi Fi, reopened it, and now we are loading up once more. So, there we go. Uh, hopefully, they get your Windows Mail back and then you don't require to make a dodgy Microsoft account to be able to access the emails for an email program that's already got your email settings. Anyway, I'm gonna catch you later. Bye.